Hello everyone, welcome to another update from the Evidence ecosystem. Uh, no to today, we're just back to normal. But today I want to take a look at an app that I kind of just discovered today, it's DBank. DBank is a little bit like Marker in that it tracks your portfolio, but it has a couple of other really cool features that I think are super useful, plus I found it very accurate. Rather than me talk about it, let's just go into it. As you see on the top right, middle top right, um, I have connected my wallet. So now if I want to look at my portfolio, I just click view my profile. Normally I'm not a big fan of showing what I have in my wallet, but we kind of need a wallet that has assets in it and a transaction history and everything to really view what DBank can do for you. So this is kind of like my YouTube wallet. I've been using it a lot for the video, so it has a lot of like small transactions in it, which some of them by now have actually grown into something, you know, bigger. Um, you know, very fortunate to be in Avalanche nowadays. But as you can see, it actually tracks assets across multiple chains. Of course, I have most of my assets on Avalanche. You can also say I only want to look at a single chain. Um, I don't think I'm farming anything on any of the others, so I can just scroll down. And as you can see, if you scroll down, uh, you can also see on the top here, it tracks a lot of apps. And what I notice, it does a really good job of tracking them. So for example, I noticed that Marker doesn't have my DAI pool. Uh, I also noticed it doesn't have an XGO pool, which is in a different wallet of mine. And they just kind of have all of them, even though they launched like today. Um, so they're really good with that. And also on top here, it gives you a really nice overview of how much you have locked into each app. Now there's also an NFT section, which I do not think has integrated any of the Avalanche apps yet. Um, you can see your history, once again by chain, which is quite convenient. But what I find super cool is actually the approval app. So in here, and I just actually went to Avalanche, you can see actually where all your tokens, uh, which contracts can spend them. And if you ever interact with anything that you're like, mm, maybe I do not completely trust it, you can easily find and revoke the access here. So for example, if I do not trust this contract, I can just revoke the approval and then it cannot spend my wrapped AFX on my behalf anymore. You can also see essentially which assets you hold in your wallet, which kind of equals to your exposure. Now DBank also has a swap feature. I'm not exactly sure how it compares to Yieldjack or Marker in terms of um, what kind of routes it take, how flexible it is. But one feature that I did really like is that if you click on the um, token here, is that you can go to my tokens instead of commonly used. In my case, it's already loaded. And then you can just actually see the tokens you hold in your wallet. And you can immediately trade those away rather than, you know, search for it in a list or so. Now, finally, there's a couple of rankings and other kind of statistics, analytics uh, on this website as well, which are integrated, which is uh, nice, which I guess is just convenient in case you ever need that information. Just had a discussion on Twitter today about like, you know, which apps measure the most accurately and it is a bit difficult. But based on how accurate DBank is tracking my portfolio, I'm guessing this one's quite accurate. And then in ranking, once again, I've set it to Avalanche, you can also kind of see uh, our value locked. Uh, I, I do notice a little uh, upward trend here. Uh, and you can also see Banky now is the most, followed by Banglin and Trader Joe. But that's already it for this video. Very short look into DBank, but I found it very useful. So I wanted to share it with you, especially take a look at the approval feature, see if you approved any shady contracts at all. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in another one. Goodbye.